using column values to write numbers in expanded form and to write numbers as words. So what is expanded form? Well, expanded form simply is when we write numbers as multiples of 10 times the digits of the number. What does that mean? Well, first we have to go back to our column values. Remember, all of the column values are actually multiples of 10. And when we're writing numbers, we're actually running digits in each of these columns and saying that that's how many of the, that group of multiple of 10 there is in that number. So we can use these column values to rewrite any number in expanded form. We, in other words, we just multiply each digit in the column by the column value and then add them all up. And you always start with the number, uh, the largest the, the number in the largest column value. So let's look at an example. Supposing we wanted to expand 3,904. First, we write that number in the column values. And remember, we always start with the smallest column value, that is the one to the right, the ones column, and that's a four. Then we go on here to the zero, write that in, nine, and a three. And once we've written them in, then we simply multiply each of these digits by their column value and then add them up. So first one we're going to start with then is going to be the threes. So it's going to be three times a thousand and then this one nine times a hundred. This one is going to be zero times ten. Then this one four times one and then we write them as a long sum and so extant expanded form for 3904 is just going to be this whole thing three times a thousand plus nine times a hundred plus zero times ten because zero times ten is actually zero we don't really have to write that one out i did anyway plus four times one and that's all there is to expanded form now column values are also useful for writing numbers as words. So remember, let's take a look at our column value table again. What we do is we first group by um, numbers of three or, or columns of three. So we have here every three columns and in this case it's these three right here and then we put this col comma in right there and then for the next set of three do the same thing and we put the next comma in there okay so that's how we get the commas there by grouping the columns into uh, groups of three and then we use that to write the numbers of words as words. Let me just erase those circles so we can seal them all clearly. So when making the words, we group every three columns and then we use words to describe the numbers in each of those groups in terms of how many hundreds, tens, or ones there are. Let's look at an example and maybe it'll become a little more clear. Let's look at this number, 577, 216, and we're going to put this into words. So again, always start with the uh, furthest right, which is a ones. So we write that in the ones column. Next one is a one, which goes in the tens column. Next one is a two, which goes in the hundreds column. Next is the seven. Oops, that's a little crooked. Another seven, that will go next. And then finally, this five here. And we said that we want to group these things in groups of three. So if we group them in groups of three, um, and we, the, the group of three is broken where the commas are, so we have this group of three down here, 
and we have this group of three down here and then we just read the group of three off as a hundred and then use the column value by the comma okay so this then just becomes 577 and this column is a thousand so that's going to be 577 thousand 216 just remains as it is so when we write this whole thing as words it just becomes 577,216. So, to review, we can use the decimal place value system to help us write numbers in expanded form and to convert numbers to words. Always write out the column value table first and for expanded form, we write the number into the correct columns, starting from the right with the smallest column value, the, the, the digit in the ones column. Then multiply each digit by the column value and uh, then add. And finally, to write numbers as words, we group the numbers in sets of three columns and read the number for each group of three. That's really all there is to it. Now try some exercises 